Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming with yours truly, I Octane. The event has started and we're going to do our possible deck combination. But first, we're going to look at my featured deck. My featured deck this week is the Karasu Phantom Thief deck. This was a deck that was introduced to the game two years ago during the celebration um, events. It features Tanu, which just like the Wicked Queen, it actually heals you for a certain percentage of your HP passively. So it heals for 5% of maximum HP every turn. This card alongside the Wicked Queen and um, Aladdin are three of the best healers within the game. This card, however, doesn't really produce uh, a lot of a lot of water gems but it's a great healer golden trickster is the um, ultra rare for that deck and what golden trickster does it will trigger one celebration tile plus one additional for every 150 corp intensity what a celebration tile is it's basically like a gem trap and only golden trickster can actually activate the celebration tile Apart from that, Golden Trickster doesn't work well with any other deck apart from the cards within the deck. And without the main card or the event card as it's called now, Golden Trickster is absolutely useless. Now, this was the event card. It will create two Water Power Gem 1s and one Celebration Tile. Uh, and the Celebration Tile basically will produce a power gem one each time each turn and when it's activated by golden trickster it will create a row or a column it will create a row and a column of power gem ones kurusu was the master collection card but then we didn't have ultimate forms so kurusu would have been the card that everybody would have want to obtain Kurusu also produces um, Celebration Tile. She will create two Power Gem 1s and she will create um, one Celebration Tile. But she, she has a one turn cooldown so she create a Celebration Tile every turn as long as her battle skill is activated. And the relic for that deck is this Draconic Bandle. And that was a very fun deck to play. I just thought I'll do a feature deck. Next week I might do a next feature deck and show you one of the decks that I really used to enjoy playing. So let's get straight into the decks before my iPad actually runs out of power. This is one of the main decks that I'm using. It features Beast Breaker, which is ultimate form from one of the events from last year. Armored Automaton, two copies of that, which is ultra rare. Steadfast um, Scarecrow, two copies of that, which is the event card. The only alteration to that combination is Tin Man, which gives me heal and dispels Power Gem Silence. This um, combination works okay, but the fight is very long, but you do get a boost from Ring Royalty that boosts the attack of all the cards within this combination. This team, I would say, is cheaper because um, this is a old, a old ultimate form. Uh, not sure if it's available at the moment in the um, Legend Trials. I'll have a look, but it's an old ultimate form, and um, a lot of people would have it. It's called Breeze Breakers. It does part. It does have the killer skill, and it will give all your cards the killer boost as long as they're Water Commander cards. Sea Swelling Titan is one that works really well because Sea Swelling Titan on its own can produce fifteen power gem freeze, as long as you get up to fifteen stack of power up. If you have haven't got um any ultra rare but you've got the main card and you've got 
you've got the support card you can use sea swelling titan two copies of tin man one copy of steadfast scarecrow if you've only got one copy or if you've got two copies you can use two copies along with sea swelling titan sea swelling titan will give you 15 podium freeze as i said tin man will give you one per copy it will also give you three gems so you want to activate that card last and steadfast scarecrow will give you five per copy so you if you've got two copy like i do you will get 10 power gem ones 10 power gem tools from that card which you can get quite a few power gems on the board um you can deal relatively good damage using this combination so this combination i would say is cheap and it's accessible and it will work quite well so we're gonna see one fight and after that fight we're gonna look at my main deck and then I'm gonna end the video because as you could see from earlier, my um, iPad is running out of power. So I'm not gonna make the video too long today. So first up, we're gonna look at the cheaper version of the deck. So we're gonna use, let's use one key. I haven't been playing, um, all the time so I've got lots of keys go ahead pop your cards and what will happen for those of you who haven't seen this deck before you activate sea swelling titan it will give me four stock of power up the four inside the leaf is the four stock of power up and the four outside the leaf is a three now is the duration so if i go again and activate it you'll see the duration has refresh and you can see that the um, power up has gone up to eight and when that gets up to 15 you let it expire you activate your event cards first then your support cards after you get relatively a, a full board of power gem then you can swap that and you'll get relatively good damage This combination, I didn't mention it before, will actually work as well. If you've got Wave Warriors, you can use Wave Warrior, which is the ultimate form. You can put the Enchanted Empress, which is the Ultra Rare, Beast Breaker to give you the killer skill, Steadfast Scarecrow and Tin Man. And this will give you relatively good damage as well. As I said, my iPad is run out of power, so I'm not going to demonstrate all the cards. However, uh, if I... Um, do get the if I do get the master collection card tomorrow I will actually um, showcase the deck in action and this one one key as well now this one is quite quick it's uh, it gives you good um, damage output because it's got ultra rare it works really well However, as the bosses get stronger, it won't perform as well. So if you've got a combination like this, you can do one of two thing, things. You can stay in Corellian and use um, the keys that you've got to try and kill the guild bosses or kill the Corellian bosses and um, generate most of your trophies that way. Or you can go just one step down and fight the bosses that are a bit less stronger. Now the last deck up is this combination and I used it earlier, I recorded the video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the video at the end and I'm gonna talk you through what I'm actually doing. So we're gonna have a look at that video now and see this deck in action and you can see for yourself um, how well it actually performs. So once I've powered up on my, all my cards, the thing that I want to do first and foremost, activate Ring Royalty. Just to get um, some power gems on the board because Tin Man is gonna actually override a few of these power gems. Then I'm, try, I'm gonna try and get as much power gems on the board as possible before finally activating Dorothy. 
So Dorothy will count all the gems, the number, count the number of gems on the board. And then what she's going to do, she's actually going to create the same amount of gems on the next turn. So we're going to activate Dorothy. We're going to um, use our power gems. And then on the other turn, we are going to um, actually activate both copies of the Ultra Rare and Tin Man. And that will fill out all the spaces. So once Dorothy gives us our power gems, we're going to activate our two ultra rare plus our tin man we're gonna swap those gems and we're gonna do as much damage as we can so as you see um on the side i've got two damage boosts and i've actually got a attack boost now the attack boost is coming from ring royalty you get that every turn from ring royalty will which will boost all the cards on the deck i haven't got a master collection card of my own so this is a master collection card from one of my friends so all I'm doing now, I'm just going to do chip damage, keep doing tip chip damage until my cards are ready. When my cards are ready, then I'm going to activate it the same way. All I'm going to do, rinse and repeat until the boss is actually dead. Okay, so all my battle skills are ready now. Activated again, ring royalty, activated my two ultra rare. I've actually activated Tin Man, activated Dorothy again, swap all my um, power gems, and on this turn, I'm going to activate both my Ultra Rare and my support card, match all the gems. Well, I've taken the boss down relatively close to death. But as you can see, I haven't killed him, so I've used my revive. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to keep rings and repeating until all the battle skills are ready again. And then I'm just going to do my final attack, and that will actually kill the boss. So this is a Krillian boss, so it's really, really strong. So I, because I haven't got the ultimate form, it's proven a bit difficult to actually take the boss out relatively easy. So I have to mix and match cards and try and find a combination that can actually enable me to actually um, deal as much damage as possible. So now we're going to go for our final attack. Again, ring royalty. Activate all my cards, which will give me as much power gem on the boys as possible. Match my gems. There we go. The boss is dead. So it's a combination that can actually work. It's not a brilliant combination, but it is something that you could actually try. Okay, so that's it from me today. So like, subscribe, and as always, it's Zach Tain saying peace and enjoy the rest of the event. Bye for now.